Hey guys, what's going on? Well, just got this display charger. It's for an XTS. XTS 3000, XTS 5000 series. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going through and upgrading. This is the 3.40 upgrading port. And as you've seen in my other videos, uh, I just used the Motorola Field Programmer and it upgrades it from 3.40 to 3.90 and it also tests all of each port so you're going to get a positive on each port if there's something wrong that's that right there is where this plugs in at it has six prongs on it now since this being a display unit you've got these runners along here and each runner goes up a channel right here then these each one of these is it is is for the display module so you've got six of them all the way down uh, what you need to do is when you take the unit off on the back of the unit let's go to the back side you'll notice uh, let's see you kind of need to go through and take a look at uh, the circuitry uh, if there's any dust uh, lightly uh, clean it off you can use some light compressed air but make sure you have the right filter on it uh, let me see what am I looking for oh okay back you see these white pegs these white pegs are for the fan module and this is a brand new unit it's 3.40 you can see the condition it's in. It's in brand new condition. But I need to upgrade the firmware. Uh, I've already upgraded upgraded from 3.40 to 3.90. And this one needs done. Now, once if you have one of these with modules, each one of the modules has to be done separately. You'll see you've got a cord here, and that mates onto the one in the back that I just showed you. What you need to do is turn this around and you'll see your displays all the way down. Now on the displays you'll see upgrade ports right here. So what I need to do these go in one way, they don't go in two ways. But on the LCDs, it's a bit difficult to tell. But you plug this in like this onto your display, and this is in the ready mode. All you have to do is push the button twice, once is a reset. Programmer ready, programmer busy, it's busy right now and it's upgrading. Programming successful and if you've got a programmer error, if there's a problem with the port uh, or anything like that, you've got notification. Here you've got a USB and that goes into your computer when you're upgrading the firmware but as, as that's upgrading, it takes about a minute to a minute and a half uh, per module on here, but you can you need to have an Allen, an Allen wrench to get these. Uh, you take six, six screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are the only ones you take out. And when you lift this module up, you have to be very careful uh, to reach in, pull it up halfway reach in and unplug the back uh, fan plug. You've also, you'll also notice you've got an outlet for two. This thing will run two fans, uh, which, you know, evidently you don't need because Motorola has never put two fans in a unit like this. Here we go. We got a solid green. So you just take the jumper and you go to the next one. And you just go all the way down them 
this being a brand new unit uh, very clean reset and go this being a brand new unit uh, no cleanings involved in it but you know when you take these things apart you know there if it's a used unit you're gonna have a lot of dirt in it just plain and simple if you've ever taken a computer apart same story but anyway you've got each one of these modules has uh, a plug and each one of these plugs goes into that into that bay right here you have to line them up you have to gear them up uh, line them up just right and uh, plug them in and tighten it back down that's all you got to do we're already on the second one go ahead and just do the last I did get a VHF 5k in real nice one had encryption in it AES 256 transmits and receives like a dream took to the programming like water to a duck or duck to water rather but that's all you really need to do on these modules uh, I'm averaging about 45 seconds per bay but you have to do the modules upgrade the firmware in the modules and you also have to upgrade the firmware in each one of the bays it's not like you can just plug you know plug something into the back of one of these units and upgrade everything at one time it'd be nice if you could but you can't uh, but these are impress uh, gang chargers and the information that's in these LEDs uh, or LCDs I mean the information that it gives you is just phenomenal as long as you're using impressed batteries if you're on an if you're using non impressed these are trichem chargers if you're using non impressed uh, it's just gonna say non impressed battery and it'll just charge them this really doesn't have a guide to go by so you have to be careful on the LCDs as to how you put this on because these don't have shield shield guides to go by whereas these do I don't know why that is I think that was kind of a uh, maybe just due to the nature of these LC LEDs don't know why, why I keep wanting to call them LEDs I've been thinking about LED lights uh, for about the past couple days uh, but anyway uh, these modules can actually be removed and uh, used in you know you can put them in uh, you can put them in game chargers you can have one LED uh, LCD son of a bitch just cannot seem to get my thought right okay that's done but you have to line this up just right and you can feel it when it's right. Reset and go. That's all there is to it. And this thing will be upgraded from 3.40 to 3.90. There'll be no issues with uh, with different batteries and things like that. 3.90 really uh, pretty much solves any issue that you might have. I've had a few people get a hold of me with issues uh, with firmware that's below 3, or actually 3, uh, below 3.40. 3.40 is pretty good. Uh, I haven't really heard anybody whine about issues on the 3.40, but uh, there's a reason that they did put 3.90 out. Again, it's got to be lined up. It's very quick to do, and it's not too hard to do. But if you've got to clean something like this, it gets it. You know, it gets time consuming. Anyway, I'm what nine minutes and forty-four minutes in. I'll go to the end of it. But yeah, the upgrade kit works great. And if you guys need radios, I think the S split's gonna be sold. 
I've had several uh, inquiries about it. I'm going to hate to see that thing go. The S Split 5K Model 3 with FPP, but you know, at the same time, I really, really like that one. Uh, but at the same time, hey, it's a sale, and I'm not tied to these radios. You know, a lot of people are uh, really into radios. I'm not an end user at all by any means. After all the radios I've dealt with, you know, over the years, uh, the last thing I feel like doing is listening to a two-way radio <laughs> in my spare time, which I really have very little of, as it is very, very little of it. But, let me see if I can put this back on the chart, or back on the tripod. Maybe I can get this on, and maybe I can't. My foot's in the line. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Okay, alright. So, to get this on, go ahead and plug in the fan. Didn't plan on doing this on camera, but what the hell. not easy to get it. I put it on the second bay because that's where it came on out at. Each bay is powered. It just slips on. You have to be very careful of all the parts. There's only one way for these LCDs plug in. You have to make sure the routing is right. But they've tried to make it idiot proof and they've done a pretty good job of that. Uh, it's really difficult not. It's really difficult to make a mistake with one of these. Powered up here in a minute. But you will need a hex screw or a hex set of hex keys or a, a hex tool to get the bolts out of the back bottom. I need to label this once it's done. It's tight. It's tight in here, but there's a lot that is in here. All I'm doing right now is just plugging the modules back in to the proper slots. So the unit's been upgraded, and you know, I've done upgrades on game chargers before. You want to make sure these are tucked under along here and you simply just slide it down you put your LCD on here go ahead and the unit, a gang charger, and I really hated to do that because it left me down one charger. Now, you gotta slide these in right. Once it goes in the slot, it starts reading. Twenty-five hundreds are a pain. Well, I say that, but they're actually pretty damn nice. Again, with the 2500 battery, you have to 
you have to make sure that it's on there. But as you can see, it'll show rated capacity uh, here. You have to kind of hold the hold the radio and slide it back evenly. But it says what it is. 3.9 oh, it's reading. I think you can see that. There, 3.9. Gives you a lot of information. Everything you need to know. I do have Moto Turbo game chargers that I upgraded to 3.90 if you need them. But, like I said, very good, very good upgrade on this, all the way through. Oh man, that charged fast. These meters give you a lot of information, and even one would be very valuable for your units. If you need 2500s, I got them. If you need 5000s, I got them. Uh, you can check on eBay. I've got a few on eBay. Take it easy, guys. Later on.